Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Ratham Ratham Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and also Taurus Rising. A weekly general tarot reading, August 9th up until August 15th, 2021. And uh, this uh, video, I'm going to um, use the Elemental Dignities Technique to read the cards, which will allow me to read cards in pairs. And uh, if you do want to learn to do it yourself, uh, you can go for my uh, Elemental Dignities Tarot course, which is a uh, one hour course that accompanies, that it is a accompanied with also a PDF handbook. And uh, also if you do uh, wish to have a personal reading with me, or if you are interested into my tarot classes where I'm explaining the tarot cards, all 78, in uh, various positions and also in terms of career and relationship, uh, go to my website, uh, which is listed here into the description down below, and uh, there you are going to uh, find all of my services, and uh, you can go for whichever one suits you best. And finally, um, if you are uh, interested into catching me live, where you can participate for the free reading contests that I'm doing here on YouTube, make sure you do subscribe for the channel and as well hit the notification bell. So with that being said, the uh, reading for Taurus, uh, first card you Taurus have for the week, that is going to be the uh, Justice, followed by the second prime card of the week, which is the Emperor. Moving next, it is the third prime card, that is going to be the Two of uh, Cups. And the last card, which is the prime card, that is going to be the Magician, all right? So these uh, four cards that we do have here, there are going to be four more, which are catalysts to these cards. But uh, we have a pretty strong week for you. So once again, the cards, and let me check if you can see them as well. Well, okay. So a uh, pretty, uh, pretty strong week. It is what we do have for you. Uh, a very possible to have some kind of a love interest in there or the love simply to, uh, how can I say, to amplify into your week but before that can happen you are going to find yourself having a lot at your hands and uh, time management will be imperative at that particular point although uh, looking at these cards i am not scared for you at all so to speak because even if at the start of the week you kind of like find yourself a bit overwhelmed with all you gotta do career wise relationship wise or you may have been given some promises, uh, which, you know, you may find very difficult to manage at the start of the week time-wise to perform. Very quickly, you are to pick up yourself together and establish very firm control into, uh, into your endeavors. And at uh, the end of the week, uh, we'll finish in a very different fashion for every single one of you guys. We have the magician there, and the magician could apply to literally anything. And uh, it will be, uh, how can I say, it will vary based on the two of cups. And we're going to see how this is going to develop as we do scrutinize the reading. So starting up here with the um, Justice card, and it is accompanied, oh my God, it is accompanied with the Ace of Swords. So we do have these two, okay, so yeah, okay, you can see them. Uh, these two, they do form a active supporters and big truths, big truths are to be revealed at the start of this week. Truths which are going to, um, have make you have a lot of things to handle, a lot of things at your uh, at your hands, and uh, at this point, it will be very very important for you to be honest with anybody that you are to talk with, anybody to lead the negotiations with, because that is a very possible at the start of the week to have these open conversations, to have these negotiations say to how your marriage is going to move forward, say to uh, a, 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 say for a promotion, say for that you do want a raise in salary, etc, etc. Uh, and at the start of the week, you are going to be done with the bullshit. Okay, you're just simply going to be done with that and uh, approach the situation with uh, the true face for who you are. 
and with your true intentions and as well with uh, with sheer determination you know things to move anywhere and uh, that is going to be supported through the sheer strength of your spirit and also um how can i say the accountability you're gonna have toward yourself and toward the situations you are involved in and not just only that but also you are going to have that astute discernment to to distinguish the right from wrong in the global scheme of things not just only for yourself because what is right for you, for you may be wrong for somebody else not just only like i said for yourself or personal right or wrong but the global right or wrong what is right and what is wrong in terms of universe and in terms of in generally our society and based on this perception you are going to make a very well developed uh, uh decisions and uh, also you will be able to exert balance into your life career li career wise relationship wise or maybe in between these two and uh, right after that the emperor manifests itself and it is accompanied with uh, the five of pentacles okay so these uh, these two cards and they do form a active neutrals okay and uh, it does they do speak about the shrinking of concerns the shrinking of predicaments and the shrinking of uh, how can i say the the fearful sense you may have that you are doing things wrong no you aren't at all it just by now um I don't know it, it will be different for every single one of you Taurus but by now you may have followed someone else's criteria or someone else's lifestyle so to speak and um, <clears throat> with these two cards you are instead of trying to be liked by anybody around you are going to instead present yourself being reliable regardless if you are liked or not and not just only that but also you are to start controlling your life which includes your career which includes your relationship as well with a uh, iron hand being able to face the ups and downs of day-to-day -day routine with much more bear and um, also allowing yourself to have some personal time but at that state uh, people will recognize you as a force to be reckoned with career-wise and relationship-wise as well someone that they can that they cannot simply mess around with and also people are going to rec recognize you as a very valuable asset career-wise or relationship-wise although relationship-wise it will be very uh, how can I say off character people were going to recognize you as a person who is capable to establish solid ground solid foundation of family right of of a uh, of patterns rather than a uh, that love which is butterflies into the stomach that disintegrates very quickly afterwards and uh, right after that's um, that point two of cups manifests and is accompanied with the four of swords we do have these two and they are a passive uh no, passive neutrals and it's a uh, uh, by the way i never encountered that combo before of a passive neutrals so uh they do speak for a couple of things now the first thing that they do speak that the time for you to find somebody to unite with either career-wise or relationship-wise although i do believe that they were talking here about relationship has as as came all right you cannot uh, you can but it is not advisable to postpone that thing so if you have been hermitized yourself oh my god if that's a word even if you have became a hermit yourself maybe it's time for you to step out under the uh, under the sunshine okay uh, another thing with these two cards are speaking it is that uh, the partnerships regardless if they are career or relationship wise after the middle of the week are going to start taking a, a fairy tale turn i don't know how to explain it even this is when you do uh kind of like uh, get along with one another without even have to share much words it is simply the sense in between two people or in between the team out there it's it's very strong 
and uh, there will be no pride nor shyness at that stage uh, at that stage of the week so it is a fantastic couple or maybe triple three days after the middle of the week where you can meet people to get along with very well people that are uh, very receptive to to you to your ways and as well to your behavior and why not find somebody that you can fall in love with and uh, the end of the week here for you taurus it's uh, the magician card followed by uh, the uh, hangman we do have these uh, these two and uh, they are forming a active neutrals okay and uh, they they are just the how can i say they are just a second stage of these two like i said the time for you to be hermetized is is simply done it's over and you finally have to step under the sunshine and if you don't do that into the stage of two of cups and four of swords here you will have to because um at that stage you will start understanding at the end of the week that your percept your your perception or rather like your perspective upon life upon the perfect relationship upon the perfect job was correct for the most part it is just the environment you were in was not plausible that it was not efficient it was not um what was the english word here guys um nutritious for your perception and uh you are getting there though okay you are slowly but steadily steadily getting to the perfect circumstances where you can have the love you want where you can have the job you want as well but at the end of the at the end of the week uh you taurus are going to represent yourself as a person with a very big sovereignty very strong will and person who is determined to do things their way which have uh, which there is nothing wrong with it and uh, because you are going to present yourself as such you should expect a lot of a fruitful conversations to take place at the end of the week um, negotiating your new terms of agreement for example at your job or for a new job why not you know negotiating as well how you see your uh, marriage love life or a possible relationship moving forward why not you know and uh, it will be very important to lean in toward your um, communicational skills because they are going to be very exceptional at the end of the week and one private case with these two cards it is that if you are feeling stifled especially career-wise the time has came for you to acquire a new qualification so maybe this week it's a, a great week for you to think about you know what new you can learn and so with that being said guys that was your uh, weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are to see each other next time until then bye